What's up guys? Welcome to this Madden 25 tip. This tip will be transferring uh, from Madden 25 to also Madden 15 uh, and Madden 16 and Madden 17 and Madden uh, 100, you know, if we ever get to that point. But um, we're talking all about this week. Uh, this is a new thing that I really, it's, it's kind of an old thing, but it's starting to actually get done. Um, I'm starting to do a little bit better job of getting all my ideas actually completed as opposed to just putting them down on paper and never messing with them. Uh, but we're talking uh, in this video. We're we're, we're talking tournament style tips, and I, I do a lot of different things on my channel. And um, we've actually got, actually got a video coming uh, this afternoon where we're gonna update everything and get you guys kind of finalized on uh, so that you could be updated on the schedule. We're gonna post our schedule on Twitter, uh, on Facebook, on all these different uh, channels so that you should be able to have access to the schedule at any moment. So you know, okay, it's Friday afternoon. I'm no, I know I'm getting this tournament tip today. So hopefully that will help you guys out uh, so that it's not just me posting random videos without actually any formula or thought process. But with that in mind, guys, uh, I want to turn to this tournament tip. Today we're talking all about user control. And, and what I want to really focus on today is a, a tip that I, I don't know that a whole lot of people know about. And I think that it's something that I use a lot. And I don't know, maybe I've used it. I don't know if you've seen me doing it in my full gameplays. But... Um, Basically, it's it's how I use a control. I think it's the best way to use a control and actually get instant access on your player. So, uh, real quick here, we're going to show a passing play, then we're going to show a running play. But basically, here I'm going to set up a, a little blitz out of 3 c 3 through 5 a little scheme preview that I'm going to be working up here. And say I want to user control Lou Keekley. Okay. Now, if you'll watch here, when I have him in this hook zone, I like to hold left trigger to snap the ball. And we watch here, you see that he kind of freezes at the snap, okay? So he kind of freezes at the snap, and that kind of holds me out a little bit. So let's take a look at this replay. So you'll see, I mean, it's not really huge. It's, it's really subtle, but the tournament guys will probably know what I'm talking about. I'm on Luke Keekly. Watch the snap. You see how he hesitates? You see that right there? Watch, watch the step. Just boom and bam. It's just a little hesitation. Now, that little hesitation is, you know, you can work around it, and you can deal with it, and you can, uh, you know, you can go through, and you can say, okay, well, I'm just going to deal with that hesitation. But what if? Let's just. This is just kind of hypothesizing here with me. But what if this happens? So say they were throwing Morgan on a slant, okay? And your user controlling. This is going to be really hard to show. Um, but your user controlling Luke Keekley. At the snap, the ball you drop back, and they throw the slant right in behind you. Now that's the idea. I can't. Obviously, guys, it's a little hard for me to show with only having, you know, with only having one player and having two controllers. But basically, what happens is this slant is almost money because I can't recover down on the football based off the 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 fact that I have to start back because I'm in a hook zone, okay? Or if you know, and this is obviously, you know, for example, I mean, we just, we can go on and on with examples, but say I'm in like a deep blue zone, okay? So say I'm in a deep blue zone. Watch, it's gonna be even more. You see, I mean, he's just going to he's kind of freeze and hesitate just a little bit, okay? So here's how I go about it, okay? Now, this is something that uh, was taught to me by somebody else, I think, and then I kind of got into it and started picking up on, like, why it actually works. So uh, one of the things, what you want to do is this. So to get instant control out of your guy, you want to man him up on anyone, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if you man him up on... The running back, or the slot, or the uh, flanker, or whatever you do, man him up on somebody. Now watch at the snap of the ball. Watch this. You see, I can go anywhere. I can go down. I can go right. I can go left at the snap. Everywhere I can go. I don't have that hesitation. And uh, we'll try to show you in this replay. It's really hard to uh, catch, you know, catch this little subtle thing. But if you just watch, I mean, you see, I can come down at the snap. I don't have to hesitate before I come down. I I have immediate control. Now. Obviously, guys, that's fine and dandy. Some of you might be thinking in the back of your head, well, Cody, you know, on the run, what I like to do is put my guy in a deep blue zone and then come down and use her the A gap like that so I can stop like the inside runs and stuff. Okay, well, okay, so keep that, hold that thought. So basically what we're doing here is we're just manning him up and we're saying, okay, now I have instant control. Now watch what you can do off that. So, okay, so say this is what the tactic is to do. You put him in a deep blue, and you hold the right trigger. And to snap the ball, if it's a run, I'm going to come through and blow up the run. I'll show you what happens if they pass. 
So if they pass, which I hope, I don't think I'm in a passing play. Okay, here, if they pass, okay, so I'm in the deep blue zone. I'm holding our trigger. Now watch what happens. You see I stay still. Now I'm free to use a control, blah, blah, blah. That's great. But what if I man him up? Because some people think, oh, well, you can only do it out of deep blue zone. And let me, let me real quickly explain why they think that, because most of the time run defenses are out of cover three, and they bring the safety down, okay, and the safety's in the deep blue zone. But anyway, so say I'm using this backer, and I'm just going to hold our trigger, okay. Now, I personally don't like to do this, but this is just for you guys who like to use that tactic. You see that he sits just like that at the, at the snap, okay. So what you can do to work around that so that you can actually blow that up is you can hold, you can place them in a deep blue, but you have to hold our trigger. The only problem with this is if that if it's a pass play, you kind of lose your bearings and you don't really have that strafe mentality. So what I found works really nice for me is to hold our trigger A, and then when you come down, you actually have to you have to force yourself more to come down. So Yes, you get instant control off the snap, but no, you don't have the same blow-up run ability. Here you see, I mean, it, and it's going to be like that, anything but a deep blue zone. He's not going to give you that, that blow-up run ability. So it's, it, it's, it's kind of what you want. Myself, personally, I think that I'd do a lot better with the man assignment because I could still get in the backfield. I can just make a read and diagnose it and get in the backfield. And it's, the same, it's the same mentality, but I also have more control on – you know, if they were to potentially throw like a toss out there and I set my defense up and I know, okay, so it's a run inside. Now I get out of it and I can get out at least and kind of contain the edge. You know, obviously, you know, you, when you got sucked down, you may not be able to stop it, but the idea is containment. The idea is to get the most out of your user control. So if you like the run stopping ability and you can deal with that little hesitation, you want to put them in a deep blue zone and you want to hold our trigger. If you're like me and you like to be able to kind of be flexible and be able to stop the pass and the run with uh, fluidity, then you want to have him in the man assignment because the man assignment allows you, uh, you know, instant control post snap as opposed to the hesitations that we saw in the beginning of the video. So I hope that this provided some insight on what I do uh, for user control. We'll be talking more about user control for the tournament tips because that's a lot of what tournament style play is, is having the ability to user a specific area of the field so that you so for example you may call a basic defense like a cover three but then you take the safety away because you know that you can use through this area of the field and because of that you don't have to have this other zone and so you can take that zone and put it somewhere else and we get into all that stuff so if you like that kind of content if this is something that you're gonna think that you're gonna really enjoy uh, then you might just uh, you know maybe hit that subscribe button below or hit that like button I'd appreciate that a lot because that helps me uh, you know being able to continue to put out these videos so if you want all this content make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and uh, I'd greatly appreciate it but we'll see you guys uh, next week with another tournament tip